Yeah, that's right. Full Metal Heavy Salute. It's Birdman 316. What's happening, my friends? You see before you a box. Not just any box. It's the Cyclone, the newest edition. Optical flow. Altitude or hover hold. Let's do the fastest unboxing known to man. You blink, you'll miss it. Yeah, that's right. Okay. We have two Cyclones here. I'm going to show them both to you. One is the Drocon version, which is this one right here. I already did a, a few videos with it. This got the camera on the top. It has its own little camera right here, too. I've never used this one yet. Never have yet. I've always ran this guy right here. And, of course, I had its own battery. This goes right there. And it's power. Plugged into its own battery. And plus, you notice I got rid of the door. It's not really neat. The battery fits in there snug enough. It's not going anywhere. So it's all good. And it's got your standard Losi, mini Losi connector there. You notice I have this camera right here about in the middle. As well as I have the battery shoved towards the front just a little bit. To kind of keep the bird in balance. The gyro is going to keep it in balance anyway, but you got to help the gyros out sometimes. They can't do everything. Now the main focus. Oh, let me show you. This battery door came off of this one. Now this one is the Cyclone with the hover hold and the optical flow. You notice the camera on the front is much bigger. Or bigger lens. I think it's actually a 720p camera. And you have your, your Wi-Fi antenna right here. Of course, I had to put the battery different because... See right here, my son is. That's the optical flow camera. We don't want nothing anywhere near that so it can do its job. You notice the battery is towards the back. And I moved the... The AIO camera, the AKK AIO, towards the front to kind of balance it out. Now I'll be running the cable from the side like this, and once it plugs into the battery right here, it should still be well out of the way of the props. And of course, this one has the mini Losi connector too. And of course, the door is missing, but it's all good though. What I'd like to do with this one, you notice it has the white props on the front of this one and that one. That was the spare prop kit for the one that flew away. So I need to get some more white props, just in case something happens to these white props. Let me put this down for a minute. I didn't bring the radio out, but the radio is the same for the Drocon version, except it has your spring-loaded throttle stick, which stays in the center that's the only thing different but other than that it looks identical a couple of the buttons might be a little in, in a couple of different spots but these props here came off the front of this one this is your spare set of props and it's kind of going over what comes in the kit and is your phone holder for your uh, if you're going to do any wi-fi fpv which i'm not i'll still have the wi-fi app going and it does have a SD card slot in the camera on the bird itself. So you can start recording by the app and have the phone on your transmitter. But I'll be having my goggles on my face as well as recording on the DVR. So there you go. And here's the instruction manual here. So each time I fly one of these, I got to kind of refresh my memory so I don't want to hit well this one does not that one does not have a flip feature which is good I don't do the flips anyway that one does that one does and that one don't but I don't do the flips anyway unless it's like a manual flip or something like with my little JJ 1000 or something but anyway this is about the MJX Cyclone 
And at the end of this video, I'm going to put a little surprise. I'm not going to say anything about it right now because that will give away the surprise and then you won't watch to the end of the video. So, hey, 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 you gotta wait. Yeah. Okay. All right, this concludes this, I guess you could say, unboxing, sort of like a, something like that. An after unboxing or something. Save a little time. All right. Coming up soon will be the testing in a few pictures of that in the air, in this living room, hovering, doing the optical flow thing. And there's something interesting that I found, which I'm not going to tell you here, but you will see in the video. It's something that no one else had discovered yet that I know of. And I haven't done any testing over water with that yet, as far as like it does the optical flow work in water, or over water, not in water, you know. <laughs> That's not going to work too good in the water, but over water. But we're going to find out sometime. But there is an interesting thing that I found. But I'll let you watch the video and find out for yourself. This is Birdman's 316. Hope everyone has a wonderful day, wonderful night, wherever you are. And of course, yes, full metal heli salute all the time, always, every day, forever. Full metal heli, rest in peace, my brother. This is Birdman 316. Sayonara. Optical flow, guys. This is Birdman 316. Check it out. Now check this out. I'm going to cut this light off. I'm going to cut that light off right there. Check this out. See what the bird does. See, watch this. See her? She is over here now where the light is. Pretty wild. I'm going to pause this for a second to get close to that wall. Let me bring her over this way a little more. And push up that one a little bit more. There we go. I'll uh, bring it back this way a little bit more. And push up a little bit more. I know you can't see it real good. There we go. Well, well it's coming towards me. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn this other light on. He's over here. Alrighty, here we go. So check this out. Well, it's kind of tough to film with a phone. And hey, there you go. So I turn this light on back over here. You see that optical flow sensor is very sensitive to the light. I don't think anyone's ever tested that except for me. As far as the sensitivity, it, it seems like it goes where the light is. I know it's kind of tough to hear me I'm trying to talk over the quad I'm walking around the quad see hands off see hands off and she's there optical flow almost like GPS do a nice walk around this is that new cyclone if she's going to do an auto land see I think the LVC is only see the lights flashing underneath And she'll do a self land. It's pretty wild. I'm gonna put me a an AIO on the roof. I'm gonna run its own battery. I might have to mount it on the top because underneath there you got the you got the optical flow camera. You don't want to block that. Yeah, she's gonna do a self land. I'm keeping an eye on her though. So she's trying to rise up a little bit. I'm going to bring her down just a little bit more, like this. I think I'm going to end this video for right now because, there we go, check it out, check it out. Hands off. See? I didn't touch nothing. Pretty cool, huh? That was an inside test of this new bird here. He fixed these props so she's more presentable and more prettier. There we go.
that is a short test of the new X708 MJX Cyclone. Next time you see this one, she'll be outside. She'll have the camera. See, one of these. One of those. Sitting right here. In, I'll put, put, probably put the flare battery. B. Sound like Porky Pig. Put the battery right here to power that because. I want that battery to be powering the quad because it's got the optical flow, it's got this, it's got the Wi-Fi and all. We don't want too much dragging on that battery. Let me cut this off. So I'm going to modify this a little bit, put a, a black switch tip and a, a black cover because the original cover, I don't want to run that screw. And the original cover kept wanting to pop off. So I found a black transmitter. That I got from Captain Cook, and I swapped the doors and the switch tips on it. Yeah, she's let me know there ain't no uh, radio signal because I cut that off. But anyway, guys, this was a short test of the optical flow, being that it's very sensitive to the light. It seems like it follows where the light is, where it can grab the ground better to to hold its position, kind of like GPS, but it's not GPS, but it's sort of, sort of, sort of. In a way. But anyway, enough of my jabber jaw. This is Birdman316. You guys have a wonderful time wherever you are. Sayonara.